JM here. Uh, uh, your uh, week four and uh, now week five winner. <laughs> and uh, I just want you to know, uh, just so you know, <laughs> that uh, we had a heck of a week here. Uh, it started out after Thursday's game, uh, and uh, guess who was on top of the leaderboard? Yep, you guessed it. Dano. is <laughs> 16 win on St. Louis. He thought he had it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, little did he know that uh, I was uh, uh, right behind him. <laughs> I only had St. Louis in four, but that was just the beginning of a great week on my part. <laughs> so I only lost two games this week and uh, uh, one game last week. So that's three games I lost in two weeks. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. So anyway, uh, I finished with 113, uh, followed by my son. RM with 112, Marion Beth Nielsen at 111. Like I said, it was close. I think there was 20 people with 100 or better. <laughs> so anyway, back to the uh, week five results. It was uh, me, Rick, Mary, Dan, and Glenn. Holy cow, that is three Martins in the top five. Jerry, Rick, and Glenn. <laughs> anyway, that's that. What is showing? What is showing? Uh, we had one uh, female in the top five, Mary Beth, and uh, she, well, she she put on a good show, uh, but uh, she had to go with uh, Indy. If she if she would have went with Green Bay, uh, I mean, uh, she picked Indy. Uh, <laughs> I got a little confused here. I think it was the bump of my head from uh, that those Jersey boys who visited me. Uh, 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 when was it? Uh, Sunday morning. I woke up, uh, hear the doorbell, and uh, there's a couple of guys. They look a little Italian standing on the porch. So I opened up the door, and they said, uh, "We're here to check your your water meter." <laughs> I said, "Okay, come on in, boys." And then they proceeded to break my fingers so I wouldn't make any picks anymore. Well, little did they know that uh, they were in for the fight of their lives. <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyway, I took care of the Jersey boys. And uh, after I was done, I put them out back. Uh, uh, I broke up a little bit of the cement. And uh, I threw them in the hole. And then I covered them up and I put cement back. And so they're... Uh, they're uh, Picking daisies from underneath my driveway. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, appreciate that Deb sending those boys down to uh, teach me a lesson. It just made me mad. <laughs> yeah, I got to the point where, oh, I know I'm, I'm going to have to show them. I'm going to have to win another straight week. <laughs> baby so I did I went out and did it so anyway uh, back to uh, the results uh, JM uh, Rick Mary Dan and Glenn followed closely by Kurt and my uh, uh, last year's champ D good showing D but uh, come on you don't go with the homer pick with the Miami Dolphins <laughs> So anyway, that's why you lost, Dave. Anyway, Matt, Michelle, uh, Ed, Justin, Kevin, Deb. Oh, Deb. Deb Wormskirken. The person who's leading the pool. The one who called the Jersey Boys on me. The one who, who sent flowers to all the people in the, on the bottom. <laughs> way to go, Deb. Yeah, you got 102 points. You're way behind. Yeah, yeah. Followed by uh, Marty. Mike, Tom, and Kelly. Anyway, I could go on and on and on. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the bottom. And like I said, everybody did pretty good. But uh, you got to be kidding me. Rebecca Peach, 58. 58? 
Chucky Manzer wasn't much better with a 71. <laughs> Good job, fellas and girls and boys. Anyway, hey, let's um let's look at the overall standings, okay? Uh, I believe there's been a little change. Uh, and I will wrap it up by saying that uh, Deb remains on top with 467er. Michelle, my daughter, 460, only six points out now. And then me, me. Hey, Maddie and D, you see that? JM is in third place. <laughs> so anyway, um, followed by my son RM, and then Kurt is the top five. And just out of the top five, making our way up, is last year's champ D, tied with Jerry W with 444. Wow, nice, very, very nice. All right, well, it was, it's been two great weeks, and you know what, I might try to slack off, let maybe my sisters catch up a little bit. Speaking of my sisters, I'm looking for Maddie. She's down in 27th place. <laughs> Good job, Maddie. Oh, that's all right. I think you'll find it. Uh, anyway, but uh, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather lately. And, and uh, really, the Jersey Boys, they just helped knock some sense into me. Uh, I mean, the back of my head still hurts a little bit. My fingers are all swollen, and, and I got cast on. But um, I'm still able to make my picks. I mean, it didn't hurt my brain. <laughs> so anyway, all right. So let's uh, moving on. Let's look at week six. Uh, how it, is everybody get? No, that's right. Week six hasn't started yet. <laughs> like I said, that what was the back of my head was a little bit severe. But uh, I'll get over it. So uh, anyway, uh, JM here is going to sign off from St. Clair Shores, Michigan, home of the Martin Family Football Pool. So you guys uh, sharpen up your football picking skills because uh, JM is out for blood. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>